And January is National Blood Donor Month, and right now there is a nationwide shortage with the lowest number of people giving blood in 20 years, but there's lots of ways you can get involved and potentially help save a life. ABC's Robin Roberts has more. An urgent call for blood donations after the American Red Cross announced it's experiencing an emergency blood shortage. Our hospitals are asking for blood at a faster rate than we can replenish it with donations. And over the holidays, we saw a decrease in donations, but we saw an increase in need for blood. This, as a number of people donating blood, has dropped by more than 40 percent over the last 20 years. The COVID-19 pandemic alone causing that figure to fall by more than 300,000. A lot of people were used to donating blood at school or at business-related blood drives. The need greater than ever, as every two seconds, someone in America needs a blood transfusion. The shortage is the worst for platelets and for red blood cells from people who are type O positive or O negative. 74-year-old Debbie Teichman is one of those highly sought-after donors. With a universal O-negative blood type, she's donated blood 172 times across 40-plus years. I know they need it. It's something I can do, so I choose to do it. The retired teacher from Michigan says donating blood is a simple way for her to contribute to her community. It doesn't cost money. You don't have to be retired. You can do it. On your lunch hour, you could do it after work. You could take your friends and family with you. It's really a positive thing. And while the process takes about an hour from start to finish, the effects can last a lifetime. The only source of blood that can be used to save lives of people in the hospital is the arm of a donor. We see in the hospitals that these blood donations make a difference every day and they make it possible for people to survive and to carry on their lives. Now, our local Impact Life Blood Donation Center estimates that at least 500 donations were lost due to this week's snowstorms. Now, the center says it has just a day and a half supply of type O positive red blood cells and just a one day supply of O negative. And with more snow and freezing temperatures on the way, Impact Life is very concerned. They're asking all eligible donors who can safely travel to schedule an appointment and give blood. Those supplies go to local hospitals and help local patients.